Good. Are we live? Yes, ma'am, please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Respected judges, parents, and students, good afternoon. Welcome to Eyelid Cup Challenge. I request Sayura to take over the forum to continue. Sayura? Today we have... Sorry, ma'am. Today we have our young eagles who are ready to present their skills of art and creativity on T-shirts. I would like to welcome our judges, Ms. Shriya Nulkar and Ms. Jayantika Alurkar. Ms. Shriya Nulkar has completed her master's in clinical psychology. She has a special interest in working with children and has used her educational background in psychology to facilitate fun art classes for them. She is a founder of Shrinkala, which deals with fine art and handmade crafts and has co-founded Chromophils, specializing in wall murals. Her work in the field of art has lasted six years. Ms. Jayantika Alurkar has completed her education in economics. Professionally, she has an expertise in arts like tribal art, Madhubani, Warli, and Kalamkari. She also makes origami and displays her arti artistic creations in various exhibitions. She reads tarot cards and is Ramal Shastri, Vastu Visharad, also having experience in numerology. I thank both of you for joining us today. Now Ms. Madhuri will brief you all about the rules. Students, I would like to share important points before we start the event. Request everyone to mute their mics and switch on the videos as you will be spotlighted while presenting. The time limit for each student is three minutes. The sequence of the participants will be shared on the screen by Sayura. We are excited to watch your creative skills. Sayura, please take over the forum. One sec, miss, the slide is it? Okay, there it is. So our first participant will be Akshat Kala from Orion. Please tell us about your t-shirt. Okay, so this is my t-shirt. Can everyone see it? Yes, we can see it. Yeah, so hello everyone, uh, dear all judges. Uh, respected judges, teachers, and my dear friends. I'm Akshat of grade 8A, and uh, I'm going to be showing you one abstract art. So this painting, uh, uh, this painting is, means uh, this is painting, we are, uh, we are surrounded with darkness, which represent black. So we can see here that this is black in color. So it is like uh, means we are surrounded with darkness. While we see inside the black color, we see different types of colors like green, yellow, red, blue. So it means it means that it's showing perspective. So uh, means different types of perspective. And the finally, we see inside is B plus. The means we call this as be positive. Like as we see, uh, if we are positive, we are also we are also happy and success. So as uh, as I I can show you that here, positive uh, positivity brings happiness and success. If we are positive, then we are more happier than. Uh, we are right now and uh, and success if we are happy then we can also be success uh, we can also be in success thank you all right akshat thank you for that presentation so our next participant is mishka porwal also from orion house mishka could you come up and tell us about your t-shirt Hello? I believe she might be absent. Good, 
judges Mr. please make a note uh, mishka she is absent all right then let's move on to the next participant ranveer gulati Uh, miss, is he there? Ranveer? Yes, Ranveer is here, Miss. Uh, dear judges, uh, please make a note. Ranveer is having throat infection, but still he took the initiative in participating in his painting. So he would like to share the screen. I hope you can uh, don't cut trees. Go to, turn around. We have the right to breathe. Now you go. And if you follow this, everything will be fine. We don't want the mask. Uh, teacher has Ranveer uh, cannot speak. I think he has sent you his uh, write up beforehand. Uh, in, in your mail, I think he has sent you. Okay, ma'am, we will just look into it. I'll share yeah. them to the judges. Thank you so much. If you want, he can share it. Uh, he can show the writer what he has written. Else, he has already sent you his writer. Please, ma'am, he can Maybe do. Judges, he has a severe uh, swelling in his vocal cords. Oh. If you want, I can read it out. Sure. I read. Judges, are we okay if uh, I take a... Yes, thank you. Good yes, afternoon, judges. You. This I'm reading on behalf of my son, whatever he has written. Sure. Good afternoon, judges, teachers and parents. Hope everyone is safe and healthy. Today I have designed my t-shirt, keeping in mind the current pandemic situation, the action to be taken on immediate basis. There are many reasons, but today I will focus on one thing and solution to it. Every human being and younger generation has the right to breathe. So if we stop cutting trees and grow more trees, we get to inhale fresh air. With this into practice, we don't have to wear designer masks like the one I am wearing and invite Corona. We want to get rid of masks. So we if so that we can meet friends, go to school, and no online classes. Our hope is everything is going to be fine. And material required is shimmer cloth, one meter, uh, green for the younger generation, and uh, pink for teachers. Lining, uh, bag uh, belts which uh, which he has used from the unused bags from my wardrobe. Needle, thread, scissors, stapler, old T-shirt, fabric colors, paint, brush. Pencil, scale, and marker. Thank you, ma'am. Ranvi, take care. Thank you, saying Thank you. Welcome. Very good, Ranvi. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Ranvi, for sharing your T-shirt with us. So, next participant is Ankita Shekhar from Orion House. Ankita, can you come up? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Ankita. Good afternoon, judges, teachers, and friends. My name is Ankita Shekhar from grade 6B, Orion House. Painting has been my passion from childhood. Using colors in all hues and shades soothes me and brings out my <laughs> best creations. Painting has an art form, has allowed me to experiment with colors and give a flight to my imagination. The t-shirt that I've painted shows a sunflower, which is unique as it is the only flower with the word flower in it. The word sun 
in sunflower symbolizes a never ending and con constant source of energy which i identify with myself the this has inspired me to write the quote give energy like sun and be tender like a flower tissue painting has been a very thrilling experience i have used acrylic colors to paint the sunflower i have also used glow in the dark colors to highlight my quotes and make sure they are always visible whether it is day or night i have used acrylic permanent color markers to make those small flowers all over the t-shirt lastly i have tried to highlight the borders of my t-shirt with golden color dots thank you all right thank you for sharing your t-shirt with us ankita ankita can you show me your t-shirt because i could only see half of your screen uh, okay judges may i request sayura not to share the ppt because we have we will have more space for the participants then sayura so please share your screen yes thank you sayura yes okay. spotlight okay thank you ankita good work madhula All right, so now we'll be moving on to our next participant from Orion House. That is Mahi Mehta. Um, good afternoon, teachers and judges. T-shirt T-shirt painting has been an amazing experience, and I have got to learn many new things. The T-shirt I paint had. is it has the message of don't give up and i try to make a neon line that shows how much people can glow and embrace themselves if they keep on trying thank you all right thank you for sharing your t-shirt mahi Um So next up is Isabella Renade and um could you share what your t-shirt with us Isabella Hello Isabella is absent right now. Okay, so she is absent. No problem. We'll move on to Pegasus House now. Our first participant from the greenhouse is Upamanyu Mukherjee. Hi everyone. I'm Upa. Uh, this is my t-shirt. I made it using fabric paints and graffiti. And so now I'm going to explain. It. So the theme of this t-shirt was actually mind and life peace and respect for environmental uh, surroundings so i drew how i perceive the earth and space and used the word bra which is in my opinion the generation's connotation for the word to describe the act of caring enough but not enough to let it affect your life this idea i have actually come across during lots of leadership lessons and books and movies but they never seem to really specify on the importance of this and i thought that i would make this the theme of my t-shirt painting so having the ability to care less about what people's opinions are about you how they think about you helps you to live a good life and focus on things that are important like your family your friends your career and your goals in life it helps you focus if you can take a back seat in life and just enjoy it you find that the earth is a beautiful place and life is the greatest gift so i usually don't use colors but i found that the colors gave a psychedelic effect and it made the t-shirt look much better okay thank you for sharing your t-shirt with us uh, students can you speak a little louder and closely to your mics once it's your turn thank you 
All right, then we shall move on to the next participant. Next up is Ashika Goyal. Hello, everyone. Um, so here's my T-shirt, as you can see. So good afternoon. I'm Ashika Goyal from Grade 8B, and I'm in Pegasus. Firstly, I would like to thank our school for taking up this I-Lead Cup, as I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. We were asked to paint about anything which had a positive and a powerful message. And at that point itself, Black Lives Matter and LGBTQ community that came in my mind. So firstly, this is a very serious topic all over the world. As you may know, racism and homophobia takes place everywhere and not only in the US. If you may have noticed, there's a lot of racism in Indian advertisements as well, when they sell products like Fair and Lovely, Ponds Beauty Cream, Garnier, etc. So they talk about how you will only be beautiful if you're fair, which is not true at all. Not to mention, Gay marriages are not even legalized in India. So there's so much unnecessary hate towards them and they're judged and treated badly just because of their sexuality and color. So over these past few months, I was doing research about it and I realized that this was like a perfect opportunity for me to spread more awareness and talk about this topic. So my painting firstly shows the logo of the Black Lives Matter movement and it also has the flag of the LGBTQ plus community. And in the hand, I've also made a like a electricity thunder sign, which basically depicts something which is very powerful. Um, then also I've added together we rise, which is a sentence I really like. So it is basically telling us that when we all come together and help support and educate each other on various topics, we will all rise up. Um, lastly, I want to end it with spread more love and less hate. Please treat everyone equally, regardless of their color, gender, sexuality, and religion. Thank you. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for sharing your t-shirt, Ashika. That has a nice message behind it. So our next participant is Sarya Shrivastava, again from Pegasus House. Missy's not here. He's absent? He didn't do it. OK. All right, then, no problem. We'll move on to the next participant, Yuval Agarwale. Good afternoon, teachers, judges, and my friends. I am Yuval Agarwal from 7A, and I represent the Pegasus House. This is the t-shirt I have painted. The quote that I have written is that happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if only one remembers to turn on the light. This quote was said by Albus Dumbledore in the book, Prisoner of Azkaban in the series of Harry Potter, written by J.K. Rao. This quote means that whenever there are dark times or bad times in our lives, we can find a way to help to be happy in any condition if we remember that we own our happiness. The best example can be the lockdown. The coronavirus was a very big problem for everyone around the globe but the lockdown was the ray of light. Whoever in the lockdown tried to stay positive was able to own the happiness. That happiness helped them pass through difficult phases of the lockdown, which boosted their mental strength. I have drawn a light bulb on my t-shirt, which depicts the light, which can be turned on to help us. This quote has helped me in my life a lot, and I thought that I can express myself through t-shirt painting and explain the quote. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for showing us your t-shirt. Um, I like the Harry Potter reference and sorry for mispronouncing your last name. All right, so our next participant is Tandri Batula. Hi, I'm Tandri and I'm from grade 6. I'm in Pegasus House. I always wanted to see my own t-shirt painting and show my creative creativity skills through my t-shirt painting. So that's why I'm here to express my t-shirt painting. My t-shirt painting has an important message to do, which is happiness is the key to success. I have always wanted to create a t-shirt which relates to happiness. I have also drawn a cute and a, a aesthetic emoji which represents happiness. It was a little hard to complete the t-shirt painting, but however, I completed it. Thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Uh, my t-shirt 
All right, so that is all of Pegasus House. Next up, we're moving to Phoenix House. And our first participant is Grace Mankad. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Grace Mankad from 7A, and I'm from Phoenix House. I would like to start by quoting Martin Luther King Jr. He said, I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. I believe that the unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. Today I present my thoughts which I strongly believe and support racism. Though we were all created equal, we created barriers around us based on race, caste, nationality, color, and shape. This made us more equal than others while not being mindful of the feelings of those who were treated unequal. This t-shirt speaks my belief about racism, a little from my end of the world. And if you look closely, I have incorporated my thoughts and beliefs in the way I have pointed. I have painted on my shirt. Thank you. All right. Thank you for presenting your t-shirt. Next up is Nandini Murthy, also from Phoenix House, obviously. Hello, is Nandini absent? Nandini is absent. Uh, Sayura, please make a note. Isabella has joined. So at the end of the participants, you will read out the uh, absentees once again. Okay, please continue. Okay, so our next participant after Nandini, is Ritika Rao. Um, so my name is Ritika from grade six, Phoenix House. Uh, this is the t-shirt that I painted. Um, I wanted to give out the message of being brave, strong, and fearless. I was thinking of how to convey this message, and the first thought that came to my mind was lion. I believe that everyone considers lions as an apt symbol for bravery, strength, and fearlessness. There are qualities that I value as well. Of course, drawing a lion on a t-shirt is not an easy task. So I decided to draw it like an icon. I started off by stretching the t-shirt and clipping it onto a board so that it would be easier to draw on. Then I drew the outline of the lion and painted the face black. I experimented with a variety of colors and gave almost each strand of me a different color. I used fabric colors to paint this. Lastly, I used a black marker pen to write the message below the line. I really enjoyed painting this lion and hoped you liked it as well. Thank you. All right, thank you for presenting your t-shirt to us. Our next participant after um, Yutika is Ivana Gada. Hello, I'm Ivana Gada and this is the t-shirt I painted. It has a message being like, if you love me, save me. Because the earth before was very different than what it is now. It's become more damaged. And now we need to preserve it for the new generations. Because uh, if we use up all the resources, all the energy, no, they won't have anything left. Because life, earth is the only place that holds life. It protects us from the outer space. So we should preserve it for the other generations to come. Thank you. Can you show me your t-shirt, please? Okay, here. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so our next participant is Om Chavan.
Om Chavan is absent. Yeah, he's not there in the list, Miss Sayura. Can you move on to the next uh, student? All right, so that's all of Phoenix House. Next up is the Hercules House, and our first participant from Hercules is Nandita Pathwardhan. Hello, I'm Nandita Pathwardhan from Hercules House, and as you can see on my t-shirt, there are a bunch of roses. The the thing that inspired me was a quote, when life throws thorns, hunt for roses. I decided to pick this quote since it has many meanings hidden in it, such as always looking at the positive side of things or learning to enjoy the happy things, not to sulk in the negative things. In my painting, all the roses are bunched up like someone picked them and tied them in a bundle, and there are no thorns in the bunch. The bunch symbolizes the positive in a beautiful flower without its thorns, just like a bundle of happiness. It shows that you should pick up the thorns and focus on the roses. At the same time, you have to learn from the thorns, not throw them aside. I used fabric colors for this t-shirt in the color crimson, black, and green. I also used a board underneath to paint on the t-shirt successfully. Overall, I'm very proud of my t-shirt and will definitely wear it from time to time. Thank you. Nandita, did you use a pencil to trace? Uh, no, I I painted it on directly with fabric colors. Yeah. Okay. Um, Good students, work. request everyone to turn on your cameras. All right, so should we move on to the next participant, Miss? If everybody has the cameras on. Yeah, uh, we have Akshat Sinha. Please turn on your camera. Isabella, please turn on your camera. Sayura, please you can. So our next Hercules participant is Ruhan Korde. Yeah, hi, Miss. I'm Ruan Kore and I'm in Hercules house. And this is my t-shirt. This is my t-shirt. Uh, it is an abstract art uh, with the sun in the middle. I got it. I got the inspiration from when I, from in the morning when I saw the sun. Uh, it's a symbolism like this is darkness and sun is light. It's a symbolism. Like in darkness, there's always light. Ruan, did you draw it before or directly paint it? I directly painted it. Okay. Good work. Thank you. So should we move on to our next participant then? Yes. So next up is Akshat Sina. Um, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I wish I'd enjoy this week of hers. So this is my t-shirt. I hope you can see it. So the quote I chose for this t-shirt painting is always remember you're beautiful. And my t-shirt's theme is nature and its characteristics. So my quote's backstory is when COVID hit across the globe, everybody was told to lock down. But many of the people who are, met, who are always going for socializing and stuff were not used to it. That's when these kind of people started searching apps and websites where they can socialize. That's when people came across this app called Musical.ly, aka TikTok. That's, it was an app in which people could make 10 to 15 second videos or whether they could do comedy, dance, sing. It is a very diverse platform where you could do anything you want. So when I joined TikTok, there were these influencers who had 2 million followers, 5 million followers, and they were very quite famous on that. When I would see one of their videos, I would go and see the comments just for like an opinion. So I think other people could have an opinion on it. 
I've come across people saying, oh my gosh, he or she is so fat. You have to cover up. Oh my God, you're so skinny. I can see your ribs. Ew. And they went to one, some, one, one comment. There will be 10,000 comments in between replying to that. I felt really bad when people would go through that because I know when somebody's criticized, I know how it feels when somebody's criticized on how they look, dress, and their personality. It hurts. My soul was deeply sad as we are living in such a mature and diverse city world and there are still people who are still thinking about these casualities, about how they look, how what's their persona. It's their wish. That's when I was researching for a quote and I, I wanted to aim for body positivity. I came across this quote and I felt like it was the perfect quote any, anybody could find. It did not aim on any color, sex, religion, caste. It did not aim on anything. It could be benefited by anybody in the whole world. That's why I thought it was perfect. And that's why I chose it. And as you can see, these butterflies and these flowers are not same, not in the same color. They are different. And I've purposely made them so that everybody is different. Everybody has a different personality. Everybody has a, a different size. That people can know everybody is not the same thing. And you can, of course, anybody to be, you can change for them. You cannot force anybody to change their body or their persona because it's their right, not yours. Yeah. So then when I was researching from this t-shirt painting, I learned a lot. I wanted to spread body, positive, uh, body positivity and I learned various things, clothes, brush, uh, how to hold a brush while painting. It was tough, but I understood. And thank all of my great teachers for this opportunity for me to present how I think about body positivity on my perspective. Thank you. Great work, Akshat. Lovely. It has a very powerful message, the t-shirt. Okay, so our next um, participant is Kiara Sirohi. Hello, everyone. This is my t-shirt. If some of you can't see, it's a unicorn. The quote that I chose for this is, I've had dreams and I've had nightmares. I overcame my nightmares because of my dreams. Dreaming is a beautiful place. It's when you go to sleep and you can go into a world where everything comes true. A few days ago, I was having terrible nightmares and I was looking for a way to overcome them when I saw this quote. And I thought, what a beautiful quote. And that's why I drew a unicorn. It symbolizes dreams. Thank you. Can you show me your t-shirt again, please? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Kira. Our next participant is Namrata Nair. Hello? Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Hello everyone, I am Namrita Nair from Hercules House, and this is my t-shirt. You can see it. So this is my t-shirt. And um, so the theme of my t-shirt is life. I started off with the design of a wing of the butterfly, which is a heart, and in the heart it has flowers and plants. So I chose the flowers and plants to represent life since that's the theme. Then, for the body of the butterfly, I chose the color of pink since it is really bright and bright colors always suit life. Then finally, I wrote the quote, which is be colorful and live colorful. I chose this because I believe that everyone should cherish every moment in their life. Life can be associated with colors as it represents the emotions that people go through in their life. You should always sp spread life and be creative and lively. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Right, thank you, Namrata. And our last but not least participant is Veda Karani. Dear teachers and judges, I would like to present 
my t-shirt. My t-shirt says be unique and has a picture of Flash, which is a fiction character. I chose Flash because I like his way of things that he does in a unique way. I first did the drawing on a paper and then I sketched it on my shirt. And then I've used a paint marker to sketch. I've used a paint marker to highlight it. And then I use yellow and red acrylic paint. I would like to thank the school to give me an opportunity to do this. Thank you. Thank you, Veda. So, Sayura? Yes, will miss? You, uh, will you please read out the absentees? Because we have some students who are present right now. Um, the absentees are uh, Nandini Murthy, Om Chavan, and I believe Sharia Shravastava. We have Isabella. We have Mishka. Mishka, are you there? Mishka, are you there? Mishka? Sayura, you can just read out the names who are absentees once again because I can see here most of the participants who are absent. So from each house, please, could you read it? Um, well, uh, Pegasus is Sharia Shravastava. And then Phoenix is Nandini Murthy and Om Shaban. There's nobody absent from Hercules. And Orion is, I think, the two that you mentioned. But the thing is that they were on the participant list, so I didn't mark them. Uh, Isabella, yes. are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, miss. I got disconnected yeah. a few minutes before I had to speak. Yeah, one second, Isabella. Uh, judges, please kindly note, uh, we have Isabella. Okay. Yes, Isabella. Should I start? Yeah. yeah please turn ahead. on your camera. Can you see me? Hi, miss. Can you see me? We can yeah. see you, Isabella. Okay. Hi, I'm Isabella, and I'm currently in sixth grade. My teacher represents me, perfectly imperfect. I was thinking, when I was trying to do this t-shirt, I was thinking, what is everybody going to do? And I realized everybody's going to be doing something colorful and inspirational. And I decided, I usually go for something different. So I wanted to go for black and white. And I also went for black and white because black and white is kind of my aesthetic. So if you can see my t-shirt, this is, it's all black and white. Um, another thing is that um, in the day we live in, everybody's perfectly imperfect. And I kind of wanted to show that in my painting as in my t-shirt because you can see I wrote perfectly imperfect. And if you can look at it, um, there's a lot of memories that I have and it signifies me, yeah. Thank you. All right, thank you, Isabella, for sharing your t-shirt. So I believe those are all the participants from the, um, for the competition. So before we close Sayura. the event. Sayura, we have uh, yes. Ruhan. Miss Ruhan and participated. Yeah, he, he not participate. Yeah, yeah, he did. He participated. He did, yeah. Miss. He did. All right, OK. All right, so before we close the event, we request our judge, Ms. Shriya, to say a few words. So I really loved everyone's work, and uh, I'm really surprised that many of you did this for the first time. 
I'm so well. I'm really pleasantly surprised. And um, I really think a competition is not something uh, that would encourage T-shirt painting because I don't want to, uh, you know, reinforce someone and not reinforce the others because everyone's work is so unique and so good. So I just cannot choose one winner, but there have been few favorites of mine. And I really feel that those who didn't win today, don't be disheartened, please, and keep doing your work, keep practicing, and um, I really wish you good luck and hope you keep painting. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Shriya, for those words. Um, Ms. Jaintika, would you like to say anything? Uh, miss? Miss, uh, miss Jaintika? <clears throat> miss Jaintika? All right, Sayura, I, I, just give me a minute. Miss Jaintika? Yes, Miss, he is there in the list. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. No problem. Uh, I'm on again. Okay, so Miss, would you yeah. like to say anything about the competition? Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the competition. Sare Bacho ne bohot acha message forward kiya tha. Unka message mujhe bohot acha laga. Sab log bohot jada positive hai or bohot positive way mein sochte hai. So I really like it. Uh, I appreciate the efforts. Jo chota sa Rohan tha usne liye. Wo bimar hai fir bhi usne bohot acha efforts liye hai. And even I like everybody's paintings. बहुत अच्छी तरह हर किसी ने पार्टिसिपेट किया है, so I like to thank you all for participating in this competition because आपके स्कूल ने आपको बहुत अच्छा एक प्लेटफॉर्म दिया है और आप सब ने उसका प्रॉपरली यूज किया है, ये देखके मुझे अच्छा लगा, since 14 नवंबर बहुत पास में है और आपके स्कूल ने ये इवेंट आपके लिए रखा है, so I appreciate the efforts of माधुरी मैम आल्सो कि उन्होंने आपको ये अच्छा ये दिया है, एक प्लेटफॉर्म दिया है इसलिए, and I enjoyed the participating in your competition as a judge. Thank you in the school for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Madhuri. Thank you, children. Thank you, Ms. Shreya and Ms. Jayanti. It has indeed been a pleasure to have you with us today. With this, we come to the end of the T-shirt painting challenge. Thank you, students, yeah. for this brilliant display of efforts in form of creation. We have truly enjoyed the event. We will now be calculating the scores and request the students to leave